Hey, Rick St. John with WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com. Today we're going to be taking a tour of Corregidor Island, which is located at the entrance of Manila Bay, and it's located about 30 miles from Manila. Okay, to start our tour, we're going to be boarding this catamaran, which will take us to Corregidor Island. Um, as you see here, this is the uh, inside of the catamaran. It's two-story, and it carries almost 400 people. Okay, once we start to arrive here at uh, Corregidor Island, you'll see the tram vias uh, on the dock here waiting for us. And these will be the vehicles that will actually tour you around the island. Here we see a replica tram via. Once you arrive on the island, your tour guide will give you a name tag with a number on it. Uh, that number will correspond with your tram via so that if you, in the event uh, you're looking for your specific uh, ride, you just look for the number on the front. Uh, the number of ours was number six. The first stop on our tour was General MacArthur Park, where you'll see a large bronze statue of the general. And at the base, in concrete, you'll see uh, inscribed his famous message, I shall return. So our next stop will be the Japanese Memorial Gardens. So what we'll do is we'll get on the tram via and we'll take uh, a trip up the road here. Uh, as you travel throughout the island, you'll see a lot of green trees. Uh, the air is really fresh here. Uh, it's really nice. This is a great tour and would highly recommend if you've not been here to come visit Corregidor Island. This is the entrance into the uh, Japanese Memorial Garden area. And in this area, uh, literally thousands upon thousands of Japanese soldiers uh, were buried here. And until uh, the early 1950s, uh, Japan was not even aware of where the soldiers were buried. This beautiful garden was constructed uh, with funds provided by a private Japanese group of people. Here we see a statue of the Filipino woman, which was dedicated um, for her involvement in the many events in the history of, of the Philippines. The next stop on our tour is the Malinta Tunnel, uh, which was constructed between the years of 1922 and 1932. The tunnel is 24 feet wide and at its arch is 18 feet and branching from the main tunnel are 13 laterals um, on its north side and another uh, 11 laterals on the south side. They have an excellent uh, light and sound show uh, depicting different uh, events throughout the history uh, inside the tunnel that is excellent. Here we see the uh, hotel um, that sits on a hilltop and during your uh, uh, lunch break uh, you'll have lunch here. It has an uh, indoor and outdoor restaurant. The meal is excellent. We had uh, fresh salad, uh, soup, and a buffet meal that consisted of uh, a chicken uh, dish, vegetable dish, and uh, pancit was all excellent. The, was, everything was fresh. 
You can also stay overnight at the hotel. They have uh, twin rooms and uh, they also have deluxe rooms that we see here. So if you'd like to take your tour and stay overnight at the hotel, that's not a problem. They also have a swimming pool. Here we see the um, statue of President uh, Sergio Osmena, who was the um, fourth president of the Philippines. Also located in, in this area is a beautiful uh, mural depicting um, several significant events that took place throughout uh, the history of the Philippines. Okay, here we see the mile-long barracks. Uh, that was a three-story uh, building. Uh, it was constructed to be hurricane-proof. Uh, it was 1,520 feet long, and that's just less than a third of a mile. The headquarters for General MacArthur were also located uh, in this building. Throughout the island, you'll see uh, a lot of uh, uh, batteries, um, places where ammunition were kept um, and, and stored, and also a lot of uh, very large guns. Okay, here we see some of the large uh, guns that were used uh, to fight the uh, Japanese uh, soldiers with. In this area, there are uh, a number of these guns. And here we see two large guns. These were actually the largest guns uh, on the island. Okay, this is the uh, Spanish lighthouse that was uh, built in 1836. This is not the original. Uh, it was damaged during the, uh, during the war. However, it was rebuilt later on. And today they have a museum in the lower part. And they also have uh, on the outside uh, souvenir shops, uh, snack shops, and restrooms. This is uh, a view looking out from the stairwell of the lighthouse. And this is a view from the top when you're standing up um, next to the light at the very at the very top. It's just a beautiful, beautiful view from up here. Here we see the uh, scene Corregidor, which is the which was the movie theater that was on the island uh, prior to its pre-war days. And here you can see the the ruins from that. Okay, this is the um, Pacific War Memorial Museum, and I will say it's an absolutely beautiful and very well-kept museum. Uh, when you come here and you see this, uh, it's impressive, and it's to be commended at uh, what a wonderful job uh, the people that put this together, uh, th how well they did. Just a fantastic museum. Throughout the uh, museum, you'll see all different types of artifacts from small uh, buttons, replica of sh different ships that sailed throughout the, the seas uh, around the island, uh, the different types of guns that were used uh, to fight the war, and also uh, memorabilia from the different generals that uh, were here um, uh, helping to fight the war. This is the Pacific War Memorial that was erected to honor the Filipino and American servicemen who uh, participated in the Pacific War. And here we see the eternal flame of freedom 
a large uh, steel sculpture that symbolizes the flame of freedom uh, burning eternally. And when standing at the edge, you can actually see the tail end of Corregidor Island. Well, PhilippinesTravelAgency.com, the name you know with the service you can trust. We're one of the most respected and trusted names in Philippines travel. We offer the best packages at the best prices, guaranteed.